Welcome back to Garage K. Today we're out with my drift car, the 98 Alteza. As you can see, it has a carbon Kevlar bonnet. Today I'll be looking at installing the quick latch system. The bonnet is held down by the standard latch, but it is always recommended to put in bonnet pins because these things fail. If you take notice of Japanese track cars, a lot of them use the standard old school type. And I wanted to know why, so I asked a Legend D1 driver, and he says it's because you can literally see if it's locked or not, often from the driver's seat. It can't fail unless the pin falls out, but if the pin falls out, you can see that. So it is a safer option, no doubt. Aero catch is also much safer in my opinion. They're probably a bigger pain in the ass to fit than these, but it's either locked or it's not, unlike these things. And again, you can see if it's locked. So why did you go with these? Quite a few people told me that these are actually a better locking system. McLaren uses them and they wouldn't if they were shit. I think these look better on an Alteza than the old style. They're aluminium and stainless steel so they'll never rust. I thought they'd be easier to install than Aero Latch because of the Aero Latch's shape. What's in the box? Right, so we've got instruction book. Yep, okay. Yep, and got our pins some hardware and thread locker. Let's have a look at these things. What do we got? So that's what we've got. So I'm gonna need a hole that's big enough to get this nut through at least. But that's on the underside of the bonnet. On the outer skin of the bonnet, it just needs to only just clear this thread if it's to be perfect. I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it but everyone is afraid they're gonna ruin it. There are a bunch of pre-drilled holes in the radiator support panel, and it would be nice to be able to use those, so let's see what's available. I wanna use this point here for a number of reasons. One, the point's already there, I don't have to drill a hole. Number two, it's a similar distance from the center point to the edge, which means it will give me a good hold over the bonnet. Number three, it's actually two layers thick here because you've got this panel coming in underneath the radiator support panel. I think this is the best place. I'm gonna put this through the hole and put our nut and washer on the other side. Oh, it's right on top of the radiator. That's not very good. I got my bonnet pin in set as low as I possibly can. To do this, I had to undo this bolt and then just wiggle this out of the way. Now we're gonna lower the bonnet onto it. You can see that we're not quite touching it. So if we pull down on the bonnet, it'll hit. Okay, that's what we want. We're gonna use this height to mark where to drill our hole. And the reason we do this is because if you do it at the full height of this pin, as the bonnet comes down on an arc, that will change the position where it needs to be. I think I did this up with screws that I never intended to ever get out again. Stop f***ing with me. You're in my way. Where the f*** is Scrooby? Buried. Can't even get it. Oh, chase it out of the f***ing toolbox. I bet you it's a f***ing wrong one. Yep, knew it. Toolbox just isn't big enough. I can't find anything in it, ever. There it is, there's the one I wanted. Fucking Nothing's easy. The reason I don't like these is because you turn them and turn them and turn them and they don't come undone like they're supposed to. So you end up just fucking destroying them to get them out anyway. Or destroying your carbon fiber bonnet to get them out. There we go. Just ruin it to get it out. That'll do it. Goodbye. Blue's a nice color. One of the reasons I like assembly lube is it stays wet forever. Okay, we're here, ready? We just go, boom, like that. Okay, and that gives us as close to where it needs to be as possible. Need to drill a hole there. I put my hole punch into the center of the assembly lube and just pop it. Even though it's not metal, it will leave an indent and help you to line up your drill bit. Little hole. These things kind of cut sideways, so I'm using it as a bit of a borer to try to get the pin to line up perfectly with a hole, because it doesn't. Yes, it's really, really close, but not quite. It's a bit far back. And that's what I was saying. The higher up your pin is, the more likely you are to get it in the wrong place. Because the drill bit is bigger than the hole, I've just wrapped it in electrical tape. Now it fits in there perfectly, and I can drill my hole. And we're through. Mmm, the smell of fiberglass. Should have had a blanket over the whole engine bay while I was doing this. 
Why I didn't think about putting a blanket over the whole thing before I started, I'll never know. Now I'm going to actually close the bonnet and then try and move the bonnet pin up so it touches the outer skin. So loosen this nut off, however you can. Hmm, no, nope, doesn't look like I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did a really good job of putting it on there, looks like. Yeah, it's, it's f***ing welded itself on. F***ing on, dude. You stupid bastard. What the f***? I see. It's the nature of where it's sitting. That needs to be pushed in for this pin to clear. I'm actually kind of hoping that I have to take this right the way out because at the moment it's still touching this aircon thing and all right so we're touching we're clear of the radiator thing i think that's probably where i'm going to do it the instruction manual actually say to put a piece of tape in there so i'm going to try that method it might give me a more pinpoint accurate place um, i just poke some electrical tape in there it's sitting there lightly and we'll close the bonnet on it try this All right, so it's supposed to give me a nice pinpoint. Oh, actually it doesn't do too bad a job, except there's a thousand points. Tape works, no doubt, but I think I'm gonna use this stuff again. Just that, how can I make a mistake with that? I would like to mention that the GoPro is so hot I can barely hold on to it. Here we go. Assembly lube. And we have our mark. Yeah, there it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill that mark out with a small drill bit and then drill in from the top with the hole saw in, the, in this size. And then afterwards, after I know that it all locks in, I'll come back and mark the edge of this so that it's bigger and uh, grind it or cut it out so that the nut fits in there. I'm gonna repeatedly open and close this a million times until I know that I'm in the right spot. Okay, so there's our little hole, and I can see the pin. All right, as scary as it is, it's time to drill the, the hole, which means I need masking tape. Yep, that lines up. Let's give you a look. There's the pin. Doing the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, at the risk of making them different, do I do this side exactly the same or do I do it in the correct size? I should probably just do it in the correct size. That's a bigger hole, but hopefully that's big enough to get the socket through, which I actually have to go and buy. Because I cut this one out correctly, I can actually put this in here. I can see that it perfectly cut out the hole now we have to assume that the bonnet is symmetrical and all we need to do is line this up so it sits nice and then cover the hole only just. Trace that and then that will give us our cutout area. Made a template, mate. We're protruding up like we should. I want the absolute bare minimum. That I'm happy with, look at that. Right, close the bonnet on that. And there's our mark, so we need to drill that out. You could do this with sandpaper if you wanted to. I just think the file's gonna be easier because it'll hold onto the thing. She's got a bit of movement. That's okay, no matter where it goes, you can't see the hole, so that's fine. This is just a matter of back and forth until it sits properly. Needs to go down about a centimeter, I think. That's 45 exactly, so don't, don't let that rotate and we should be good. That just rotates the whole damn thing. It's one of the reasons I don't like using uh, nuts on the bottom. I like captive because it just does this stupid shit. You end up chasing your tail trying to get the correct measurement. It's just, I've f***ed it now. Try this. Oh, that's exactly 45. That's what we wanted. 
It's too high. <laughs> hopeless. It's just rotating. I hate having just nuts on the bottom. It sucks. It's just a shit way to go. Should be into a roof cert. 41, let's try that. Just having fun. You having fun yet? Why is everything so f***ing difficult? Go, you stupid bastard! What do we got now? 41 point something. That seems to work, so we'll run with that. 41. Just put some bonnet pins in. That'll be a quick job. Thought I'd knock this out in like, you know, 20 minutes. Nope. Cut that to size. Well, I don't know if it's to size yet, actually. That's a big call. I've been back 20 times. How can I possibly say that it's close? This is Garage K after all. Nothing ever happens the first time. That's why I'm cutting this twice. Need to cut it again. Of course. I actually decided to glue that piece on top. Now I've got the center hole where I need it, I can just use the hole saw. Putting this hole here is actually an, in the wrong spot because it, the pin comes up here, right? And it goes straight into there, and that's in the center. But the center of this is actually over here because of the angle that it's on. So this hole's actually in the wrong spot. And so is this one. I'm not impressed with these. They don't, just don't lock. Oh, even slamming it. Here we go. I'm guessing the pins aren't sticking up high enough. I wanted a washer, but I couldn't get one, so I got a piece of flat aluminium. What is it? It's 50 by 100. I'm gonna mark that on 45s and then cut it down the middle, drill some holes, and make some washers out of them. It's exactly 30, right? And apparently this is exactly 30. For something so small, the angle grinder is such overkill. It's just such thin sheet. Could probably cut it with scissors. Oh, that cuts easy. And straightish. Yo, okay. This will go through the hood, this will go on, and then the nut will go on there. Why did you do that? I wanted something smooth for it to sit on. The washer has a taper, and it tends to dig into the fiberglass. It'll probably dig into the aluminium as well, but I thought I'd give this a try. What's the worst that can happen? I get a little bit more contact patch underneath? Well, that's gonna be good, isn't it? Next problem I'm gonna face is this nut here. How do you do it up? Uh, well, you're gonna need one of these. This is a 38 mil socket fits you go to three stores to try to find this uh, but it only came in this size i don't have a ratchet in that size so i had to buy this too so that goes in there this is uh this is three quarter inch this is half inch that goes in there then there's a pin that goes in there you put the o-ring on to stop it all falling apart and there you go now you can do it up with a ratchet um, yeah. And because this is 38 millimeters this way, it also has the body. I couldn't find a thinner walled one, so this is what we've got. But it doesn't fit in there. So, I've already done this one, and I'm gonna do this one the same way so you can see how I did it. Find a hole saw that fits. Again, I'm using the wood blade, no problem. And I'm gonna freehand this shit. But I'll look at it from the top, 
line up this with the center using my eye and then slowly come up onto it so that the teeth bite in. Once I've got a sort of uh, an edge cut into it, I'll flip the bonnet up and then go in. Get this to spin. Okay, so I got that out, but that's not enough. Okay, so now this fits, but it's not center of the hole, right? So I'm going to cut straight down from there and bring it around like that. We're gonna use one of these in the drill. Yep, that works well. Look at that. A bit of super glue on the back of the washer would be great, but because the thread of this thing actually sits further in than the main body, no matter what you do, see how good a fit that is? It's always gonna have this. Even though the hole is so precise, look how much that can move. So the pin could be anywhere in here. Dunno. I'm gonna have to close it so that this positions itself in the right place, open it again, and then tighten it up without moving it. Because I can't grip this side, there's no way for me to hold it while I'm turning this. See it move? And that's in the position it needs to be. Put this on here, lower it down. <coughs> that actually got pretty damn tight. Just gonna try it with a ratchet. Oh, that's really tight anyway. Yeah, I'm not doing any more than that. You just rest the bonnet on your beer gut while you're doing it. You fat bastard. Okay, do that up. Finger tight so that it can move. Ready? There we go. Just went that way. Excellent. Locked in place. Up we go to here. Do not forget to put Loctite on here. I'm gonna use way more than I should. It's supposed to seep in. I don't buy it, but that's what they say. That's what I'll do. The reason it has trouble closing is because of the angle of the pin to the button, and there's nothing I can do about that. When closing it, if you push on the upper side of the button, it works every time. Push on the lower side, however, the button locks itself, but not on the pin. So you can lift the bonnet with the button locked. Kind of scary, really, but it is what it is. In conclusion, the way I did this took a really long time, and freehand holding a hole saw is f***ing mental. But it did work out well, in my opinion. I see installs worse than this all the time, so I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be either. You know what else is f***ing mental? Check out the weight difference between the stock bonnet and the carbon fiber one. Mind-blowing.